guess who forgot to save frequently? This guy. So I backtracked all the way back here, and I have to push this uh, block again. And this time we are actually going to ride the ferry and make progress and not die a hundred times like we've been doing lately. <sighs> Every time I think of fairy now, not thinking of a fairy like Navi, but I actually think of a joke by John Panette where he talks about getting on a fairy. He says, but I looked at the fairy and it was a nay-nay fairy. It's one of the fairies that tips over and everybody dies. You know what happens with these fairies? It fits 50 people. They put a thousand on. And it tips over and everybody goes, what happened? There's gonna be an investigation. Don't you have a clicker? 4950. Wait for the next fairy, please. I don't do it in good justice. So I just wanted to show that this is where you fall down from, basically. And it's great and wonderful. And we are, in fact, going to hop up here and get on the ferry, and we are in for a semi-bumpy ride. So before we do that, of course, save. Now we can get back down here to Jif if we need to. And giant Triforce. What does that mean? The lullaby, of course. You know what I'm ready to say right now? That's my least favorite Zelda song. Possibly ever. It doesn't help that I've had to play it 10 million times, but... It's not a bad song. It just gets grating after a while. So I said we're in for a bumpy ride because... Stolfos! We hate you. Please go die. And of course, being on a ferry that's bobbing up and down, it makes it harder to control. Like, your actions, your attacks and everything. And there's two of them! Great. Forgotten about that. I thought they came... I knew there were two. I thought they came one after another. No such luck, I guess. Come on, Link, hit him! Well, looks like he just fell off. Huh? Your father, Stalfos, was a crackhead! Good thing we saved. I'll be right back and we'll do this again. Change of plans! I've gotten back to this godforsaken room and I want to see if there's really anything worthy in here of getting. All it takes is killing these stupid redeads. It doesn't help that I, it makes me target that when I get in here. And that Link is terrible as a swordsman sometimes. Okay. One more redead. Should not be that hard to kill. Just... Oh, fine, what do you say, you stupid thing? Dungeon Sacred Creature with the one guy. Well, screw you, I already knew that. Okay, just... If this redead kills me, I'd... Get off Link, get him, get him, get him, just... Okay, that was cheap. But... Whatever. Looks like it was dancing. I'm not gonna cut this out, because it won't take that long to get back. I don't think, at least. All we have to do is go back to one of the main rooms. Oh, didn't want to fall there. That was a little close. I just want to go back to the first room we saw with the guys with the sickles thrusting around. Or the scythes held by the Grim Reapers. I think that's a tomato, potato, tomato, potato moment. You gotta love when some movie references, you say them so much that they just become part of your daily vocabulary. Like tomato, potato, tomato, potato. I say that all the time. 
And if you haven't seen it, I recommend watching Megamind. I thought it was going to be pretty dumb, but it turned out to be really funny. That's my random movie quote for the day. Now I'm getting back on this godforsaken fairy. And not die to the friggin' Stalfos this time. To be fair, I didn't make much of an attempt at killing them. But they will raz your stash if you let them live. And it's not that you play the songs wrong like I do all the time, because I try to get through them too quickly. There's one lesson that can be learned from me playing the songs too fast. It's that I could not be a tass... End sentence. I didn't know what to say there. A tass doer? A tass performer? I could not do tool-assisted speedruns, basically. Because those you gotta have quick reflexes that I just don't always have. Alright, time for you to die, asshole. I had a shield, I could do the quick cheap jab, but alas. Okay, he went down pretty quickly. And he was kind enough to leave his heart. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It's nice when the bobbing up and down of the fairy actually works to your advantage, but it doesn't happen all that often. And there you have it. I think there's just two of them. So in order to get rid of the Stalfos, you just need to be on the offensive in order that they are not the offensive on you. Looks like this is our stop. So I guess the fairy's going to stop now. The ship is sinking! And there it goes. I've never been on it when it's gone down like that, so I don't know where it would leave you. Anyway, we are nearing the end of our fateful journey. Uh, nothing of note here immediately, so we're just going to head on through these doors. The only accessible ones. And... I'm going to save, because these are... I believe these are called... Wallmasters, Floor Masters, I don't know what they're called. I know they're annoying. Because they split into three. Not the first time we've seen them, I don't think. No, there was one in the uh Forest Temple. And one of these gimmicks again, except now they're all rotating. There's still a sculpture on the back wall. They really just had not very many places to put them, I guess. Put them in a lot of more obvious places. But it is kind of hellish to have to go back and gave missing. Go back and backtrack all these sculptures if you're trying to get them all and you don't get them in the temple. Okay, why can I not land a bomb in these freaking giant spinning skull with blue flaming hair jars? There was that so hard link to aim into the giant skull. Wait, what did that give me? Oh, good. Bombs. Jeez, that sound made it sound like there was a key or something. Using our own bombs is a lot easier. It doesn't take us long to explode. We'll just be like... <laughs> and shoot. Got that one. That what, just had nothing in it? Does it summon a wall master or something? Why is this room? I'm trying to think if there's any treasure in here as opposed to the other two rooms. Like, it might be a hidden one in this last jar if you have to explode all of them. And our rupees, really must not talk about five rupees in chests. Anyway. Oh dear. Forgot that they become green and you can't hit them when they do that. Yeah, they're just gonna ignore you. And looks like, yeah, I have to buy another one anyway, so what the hell? Bam! I haven't said that in a while. 
the rest of these little schmucks. Okay, what's my big prize? Oh, I half was not expecting a chest. But I guess it made sense since I looked on the map and there was one indicated. Small key! The only useful treasure in the entire temple. Well, not really. Now I get Din's fire up before we go into the last room. You will see why when we get there. And yay for missing again. Okay, Link, please don't... die. When did I last save? I don't even remember. Um... Screw it, I'll just show it. Not worried about a time limit anymore, thankfully. You know what? Screw this, I'm not gonna show it. Uh... I will cut to where we get to the next part in a sec. See you guys in a bit. I know the ship is sinking. I'm already off of it. Anyways, before we go into the room, I wanted to do one cool thing. Um, all those bombs at the statue sure do make me want to blow it up. Link was right under it, and he gets crushed and dies immediately. But yeah, this is the way we get to the final area. Remember that key we got the first time? Yeah, we're gonna go get it again. And of course, the other room with the chest. Okay, how do I get back up to that thing? What the hell? You make it inaccessible. Okay. I say, they didn't make it to where I couldn't get back, did they? That would be total lame sauce. So, back to this stupid room with all the blank masters. I don't remember exactly what their name is. And I don't care to try to go and look it up. Or do an up seat on them. Alright, so we got two rooms. This one over here... I think this is the only other one that we haven't been in yet, so... It'll be just like we were doing the last time before I died. Oh no, everything's closing in on me. Whatever am I gonna do? Thank God the walls with spikes are made of fragile wood. And I can burn them. That's kind of neat, I have to admit. And then this room is, of course... The last thing we need from this godforsaken temple. And another small chest, which... Let me guess, is it gonna be five rupees? Fuck. You. Too. God. Damn it! So many fives of rupees. I wish the game at one point would just realize when I have all the rupees I've ever needed, and when I don't spend them like I've been doing this entire time, and oh yeah, there's a boss key. And just never give me rupees ever again. I'd be perfectly happy with that. Or at least give me some outlet to get rid of them from. Uh, that sentence didn't make sense. But you know what I mean. So we're gonna go back to the regular room that we did the first time. Get the small key and that'll enable us to get to... Please don't hurt me. Okay. Sorry, I just had to get my bearings there for a second. Almost went to the wrong one. Hey, we did not miss fighting you. I am a master marksman, just like Turl from Battlefield Earth. I graduated top in my class in marksmanship. That thing almost tried to. No, we didn't hear the do -do 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 sound. Weird. Even the game is tired of its own sound effects. <laughs> you know, I would normally not be satisfied with a with a jar giving me a bunch of arrows, but now I'm glad for it. And for those of you who don't know what the boss of this temple is, you will know why I'm glad to have gotten arrows shortly. And by shortly, I mean 
in the next segment where we actually go and go to town on this boss. Ugh, I got hiccups for some reason. You know, Link, you'd think if you walk right into a spike drilled into the middle of the ground with your face, that would hurt you a little bit. But I guess not. And this room is... Impossible to navigate! Now, of course, we need the Lens of Truth. So I guess if you're really, really good at the game, you don't need the Lens of Truth, necessarily. I thought I heard a Sculptula hanging. My bad. But yeah, if you're really good at remembering where stuff is in this temple... No, 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 no. Then you don't need the Lens of Truth, and that can be an added challenge, but for those of us who do not have very good memory of certain invisible ground, it's kind of necessary. So here we are at the boss room. We'll come to it next time.